Welcome to New Jersey once again. My name is Edward Fortune, aka the New Jersey Weed Man. And once again, I've been attacked, shall I say, by the state police. Once again, I have a criminal case now, a criminal marijuana case before the New Jersey court system. I didn't mean for this to happen. I wasn't trying for this to happen. Two years ago, I fled the persecution I felt I had here in New Jersey. I was constantly getting arrested, constantly getting harassed by the police and law enforcement, family courts over my political opinion that marijuana should be legal. Not only have I been arrested for marijuana before here in New Jersey, I've been in prison for talking about marijuana. In 2003, I made some commercials advocating the legalization of, of marijuana and the state put me in jail. I basically spent five months in jail uh, for making commercials for exercising my free speech. I'm here before one of the world's greatest symbols of freedom to let you know the liberty this flag represents is in grave danger. As with alcohol prohibition in the 1920s, the drug war is destroying our free society. Even our First Amendment freedoms of speech and religion have been weakened. Now, saying legalized marijuana in public can result in the government taking away your child. This has happened to me. It's time we return freedom to America by ending the war on drugs. It's really a war on individual liberties, and that's just un-American. Uh, I ran for office, I ran for the Senate, and I ran for the governor's office immediately thereafter, and each time I publicly tried to talk about marijuana, I was arrested. At some point, I basically fled the state of New Jersey and went to sunnier pastures in Los Angeles, California. In California, they basically have had a reefer revolution. In California, it is legal to use marijuana medicinally. In California, in 1996, they passed Proposition 215. Proposition 215 allows for the medical use of marijuana. I opened up a, a medical marijuana temple where I distribute marijuana medicinally for people and spiritually for people. In the couple years I've been in California, I haven't had any police contact, none, zero, whatsoever. There, there was no reason to have it. I find it ironic that I get in the state of New Jersey and Within 24 hours, I ended up locked up. Now, since going to California, I still have my family obligations, and what I've been doing, um, basically every other month, I see my family, I take care of my business, and I get out. This trip, I came in, I was here less than 24 hours, I saw my kids for, for, for a few hours, and when I left, I got pulled over by a state trooper, now I, here I am, front page news again. I was charged with possession of marijuana once again. I now, once again, have a criminal case for marijuana possession with intent to distribute. I plan on fighting that case. I plan on fighting the case very publicly. I plan on utilizing jury nullification. I don't believe 12 people will unanimously convict me of possession of marijuana if I argue that the law is wrong, not me. I know public opinion, more than 50% of Americans believe that marijuana should be legal. The new medical marijuana law here in New Jersey, obviously the state now recognizes that marijuana has medicinal value. On one hand, the state's recognizing that marijuana has medicinal value, but on the other hand, criminal statutes are based on the fact that the state of New Jersey says that marijuana has no medicinal value and is classified as a Schedule One drug and thus is illegal and this is how people get arrested. This is why people get arrested. Now, the state shouldn't be able to have it both ways. So I was planning on filing a legal challenge to the state's new classification of marijuana as a as a medicine. I feel that the Department of Health and Human Services should reschedule marijuana from a Schedule 1 drug to possibly a Schedule 3 or whatever is appropriate, but it should not be a Schedule 1 drug where people get arrested for it. Now, I had planned on it being a civil case, but now that I've been arrested, 
I have to reword, re rewrite my brief, and it's going to be a motion now in this criminal case. And once again, the state did arrest me. I don't even hide the fact. I'm not even going to lie and say it's it wasn't marijuana or even the amount. It was basically about a pound of marijuana. The police officer searched my luggage, found a pound of marijuana. Some people would say a pound of marijuana is a lot. It's not really a lot. What I say, a pound of marijuana basically is about a carton of cigarettes. And what actually happened was I was riding westbound on Route 38. I was following the speed limit. Basically, it was a line of cars. There's four or five cars that were all bunched up together going westbound. And a state trooper went by us. I saw the state trooper went by us. He made a U-turn at the light and came back westbound. All the cars moved to the right lane. I happened to be the first car. As we, as we approached the light, the light turned red. I slammed on my brakes, made sure I stopped. I stopped right on the white line. I, I knew there was a police officer back there. I didn't want him to see me run a red light. So I slammed on the brakes and I stopped. I was on the white line though, but I, I felt it was better than running the light. He pulled up side by side with me and I just felt him looking at me. I knew he was looking at me. At some point I looked back and he was looking me right in the face. And I knew right then and there when he saw me that I was going to uh, get pulled over. The light turned green, sure enough, as soon as I pulled out, he slid in behind me, half a mile down the, down the road, he pulled me over. Right away, he asked me for my license, registration, insurance card, this, that, and the other. Um, I had a rental car, I didn't have the insurance card with me, and they don't give it to you. But in the state of New Jersey, I did lose my license um, previously. I didn't have a license. Uh, I knew I was driving illegally, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so I guess I'm guilty of driving on the suspended list. But then the police officer wanted to search the car. I told him no. I knew I was gonna come up uh, with a warrant for my child support case, which we can talk about that too. But I knew I was gonna come up as having a warrant for my child support, so I knew I was getting arrested anyway but I didn't see any reason why he should search the car. There was no probable cause. I wasn't smoking in the car. I knew I didn't smell like marijuana. Um, at some point, the officer, you know, opened the car door. He looked around. There was nothing in plain view. He reached under the seat, and he did find a pipe. There was a pipe under the, under the passenger seat. Um, at that point, I was put in handcuffs. He called for, he asked me to sign a consent to search. He wanted to search the, the, the trunk and he wanted to search the car. Um, I felt he had already um, violated the uh, search warrant, search procedures anyway, because there was nothing in plain view. He's looking under the seats. He's looking all around inside the car already. I said, no, I refuse to sign a consent to consent. At which point he said that he would have to get a, uh, a search warrant. And I was put placed in a police car, and I sat there for a little while. Eventually, he realized that I was the New Jersey weed man. Other police officers came to the scene, basically, you know, looking at me. You know, it was, you know, it was, it was obvious to me that, that that from that moment, once they realized who it was, that there was no, I, I was in trouble. Uh, eventually, I was taken to the Bordentown. Uh, barracks of the state police. The car was towed there. They, was, they were videotaping the entire thing. At some point, they opened up the. Uh, at some point. At some point. No, we're private, doing our own little thing. We're allowed to. We're allowed to film. We're allowed to film. You don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead. We'll film that too. We'll film that too. Just call them. Go get your boss. We're not going to. We're going to ignore you. Call your boss. Call your boss. Call your boss. Your name, sir? The Weed Man. Weed Man. Now, obviously, I have to fight this case. I'm not going to take a plea bargain. What I'm going to do is, is run for office. Run for office. You want a piece of car? No, we want the car. You guys got a permit for that? No, we don't need one. It's called free speech and freedom of expression and all that other shit. There's an example of state police in New Jersey. Here, I'll tell you what. Oh, 
This is once again the example of the, uh, didn't say word to you. Once again, this is the example of the police state, the police mentality that exists here in New Jersey. Publicly, we're just standing outside with a camera, filming, talking, exercising free speech. Need I say anymore? For some reason, they want us to use the police car as a backdrop. Whatever. New Jersey, Dickhead City. See, I'm smoking this <clears throat> medicinally. That police officer just stressed me out. <clears throat> just kind of got my angry level up. Got me kind of angry. There's no better stress reliever than marijuana. I've always been a big believer in freedom of speech, freedom of expression, in the Constitution. I served my time in the military, so not only am I a pothead, I'm a peaceful, proud, patriotic pothead who served my time. Well, not only did I serve a little time in the state prison system, I've served time in the military. I'm an honorably charged veteran of the United States Army. I'm an honorably charged veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps. And I was honorably discharged from the New Jersey National Guard. And to exercise free speech just to publicly talk, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why these police officers have a problem constantly with me talking. I talk about marijuana, if they see me, this is the reaction I get constantly. And that's exactly what happened to me. Once that police officer saw me in the car that night, realized who I was, next thing you know, he wanted to search my car. He obtained a search warrant, which is easy, judge shopping. He obtained a search warrant, searched my luggage, found my personal marijuana. Now, over the years, I've had plenty of police action, Plenty of what I call violation of my right to freedom of speech and freedom of expression. I've detailed most of it in my new book, Public Enemy Number 420. You can go to Amazon.com and get this. You can go right to my website, NJWeedMan.com. Now, hopefully, I'll get my jurors, one of my jurors, will at least read this book and will understand jury nullification. And hopefully, no matter what, at least one juror will say not guilty. I'll be deliberately and faithfully and patriotically challenging this unjust law, the New, New Jersey marijuana laws. And what I want that juror to do is to say not guilty. Just say not guilty. Just say not guilty. That's all we need. Just say not guilty. Do fathers have a right to political opinions? Do fathers have a right to their own religious beliefs? Most Americans have the right to freedom of religion. Because I'm openly not a Christian, I'm openly proselytized about my own beliefs and practices, the Burlington County Superior Court judges have taken my visitation and parental rights from my daughter, Ajane. I have every right to voice my opinion, but not in Burlington County. N.J. Weedman for U.S. Senate. I stand for First Amendment rights. Peace.